Hey everyone, Joanne's here. Today we're outside El Rey. Yes, El Rey. De las Tortas Inc. Or El Rey Taqueria is what they also kind of call it. Here my good for Mr. Blaine. If you don't know Blaine, now you do. Great gentleman, California native. Well, transplant. Yeah, close enough. California yeah, transplant. Here to do the big torta challenge. Yes, a torta challenge. And by the way, we're in Chino, Chino, California. Yes, Chino, California. So for this big torta, it's actually two other giant tortas. So they say these tortas weigh two to two and a half pounds. Sign says two. The Netherlands is two and a half, and the lady said two and a half. So anyway, two to two and a half pound tortas. Um, they are a tortoise cubano, cubano torta, which means there's all kinds of different meats on it, including like carne asada, carnitas, uh, El Pastor, chorizo, I believe it's something like a ham, like all the above. You do have 30 minutes to complete if you do get a meal for free, and if not, it's $42. So today in the quest for a free meal, guys, and some, some delicious Mexican cuisine, let us go eat this torta, let us hopefully beat it, and uh, that's about that. And I think we get our photo on the wall of fame if we beat this well. So let's go eat some food. All right, everyone, so here we are with the food. It does look very, very good. So two of the giant Cubana tortas. We have all kinds of meats, and there's bell peppers, tomatoes, onions. There is a, uh, like a guacamole avocado on it as well. Um, so we do, again, have to eat the two sandwiches in a 30-minute time limit. Um, they are definitely very large. They do look very delicious. Uh, so 30 minutes, we're going to start here just momentarily. And uh, that's about that. So let's get eating. All right, I also have some salsas here as well. I have some pico. I have some avocado, some salsa, and a spicy green salsa, um, which apparently is pretty hot. Ooh. Oh man, that's spicy. Habanero. All right, so how about we get started? We'll say the count of... This might be really hot. We'll say five, four, three, two, one. Let's see. Definitely the hot one, but it is tasting good. Nice flavors. Salsa to cool it off. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Taqueria El Rey, or El Rey Taqueria, here taking on the Cubano Torta Challenge. So they literally have one sign in the restaurant saying that it's two times the two pound tortas, and then they have another sign literally saying it's two times the 2.5 pound tortas. So somewhere between, I don't know, it's probably about five pounds. I think five pounds is pretty accurate. We had every, little, every meat possible they had in the shop, plus we had some like grilled onions and peppers and tomatoes, all on a bolillo bread, I believe, it's called and uh yeah it's really good lots of meat that's for sure but it is very flavorful it's a good bit of moisture in it too so I absolutely love Mexican cuisine. Like Mexican cuisine is by far one of my favorites and I love tacos, I love tortas. In fact, like, well here, comment down below what your favorite kind of Mexican cuisine is. I do have to think mine is probably a taco, but a really nice torta is not far after. And this was a solid torta. Um, I liked the variety of the different meats, different flavors. So some bites you would have like more like chicken, let's say, or some bites you would definitely have more of the carne asada, the steak. Um, you know, some would be a little bit more chorizo. So although it was mostly mixed, you would kind of have a couple distinct bites. I'm um, having a little bit of like avocado there uh, on it was really nice as well, just great flavors. Plus I had the salsas. Um, they had the variety of house-made salsas. Uh, both, I was mostly sticking to the non-spicy ones just because I find when I eat a lot of food, a large quantity of food spicy like spices spice like heat spice like spicy foods and like large quantities of food kind of make me feel a little nauseous it is good just hot
even though that guy is going to clean that tin foil out. We are officially three minutes, 45 seconds in. It's very delicious, actually. I'm very impressed. Love the flavors. Uh, a lot, like, it's definitely moist and juicy. I do love me some flavors. They actually have two different food challenges here. They have this torta and they also have a burrito. And as you can see, there's a huge wall of fame all like beside me, behind me, around me um, of winners of the burrito and or the torta. Definitely a lot more of the burrito. Um, I think it is a bit of an easier challenge. But as far as the difficulty of this, I think it was very, very reasonable. Um, I mean, like with the time limit and the amount of food, I would say this is like a good, like I'd say intermediate, but like maybe advanced beginner intermediate challenge. So we got one down by 49 minutes in. There's also some like uh, like ham or something on here as well. Nonetheless, tastes good. Try not to grab this tin foil there. And worth that difficulty, why I'd say it's like not a beginner challenge. One, I mean the volume, you know, let's say four or five pounds, five pounds, you know, I, I kind of say advanced, beginner, intermediate. But the torta is also a little bit more complex to eat, like compared to something like a burrito. A burrito is very easy to eat because it's almost like the food is already ground up, um, doesn't require a lot of chewing. This torta definitely requires more chewing, more liquids than something like that. But that's why I also use like some of the salsas, not just for flavor, but also strategy, like to add lubricity. <laughs> Of course, we were in the quest for that free meal, that free $42 meal. Um, now, again, the from my understanding, you know, the Torta Cabano, again, it has like, let's say the five or six different meats on it. Um, I'm not sure if you would have requested to like, you know, replace one if they would have or not. Um, but the staff were very friendly and they were very accommodating. So I did definitely appreciate that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, I think, the majority of the info. Basically, again, two big tortas. Again, if I had to guess, I'd probably say probably more like that two and a half pounds. So I'd say about five pounds total, um, you know, and that's pretty much it. So at that, like I said, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, like you, hopefully you already told me what your favorite Mexican cuisine was down below, your favorite Mexican items. Maybe it's tacos. Maybe it's tortas, maybe it's sopas, maybe it is, you know, I mean, churros, you know, whatever it may be. Like I said, if not, comment down below, let me know your favorite Mexican food item. And at that, ultimately, let's tune on in and let us see what happens in Chino. Yes, Chino. I like that name. In Chino, California. <laughs> In the last quarter. I try to find like distinct flavors. It's, it's a lot of the, like the combinations just really blends in. So I can't really say there's like too too, too many distinct distinct flavors. Certain bites you know you'll notice more chicken, more of the chorizo, but just a really nice overall tasting sandwich.
all this dying to happen soon. Very delicious, guys. Just finishing up. I would say we are done. About 10 minutes, 10 seconds. Very delicious, guys. Very, very much enjoyed that torta. The, like I said, it's hard to kind of pick out one distinct flavor. I need to pull my sleeves up. But the overall flavors were just very, very delicious. The bread was nice and soft. It was nice and crispy. Um, at the same time, the bit of avocado on there, the vegetables, and just the juices from those meats really like blended together. Just very nice, warming sandwich. Excuse me. So that would do the meal for free, which is pretty cool. Excuse me. Like I said, no complaints. That was actually very, very good. I really enjoyed that. Um, I've only had, I think, two ever uh, Torta Cabanos in my life. And this was my favorite one. So, no complaints. So that everyone hopefully enjoyed this video. Of course, the next time is the happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. And uh, yeah, if you're in the area, definitely check it out. Taqueria El Rey, the King, King Tacos. Chocolate King. So yeah, would recommend. Delicious. And uh, that's about that, guys. So of course, until next time, to have a I already said that, so yeah, just have a good day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.